In this video, we are going to talk about what a virtual network and virtual standard switch are. In part 1, we are going to talk about different types of virtual switch connections we have and its port groups such as virtual machine port groups and VM kernel port groups and why we use them. We are also going to talk about how you can design your virtual standard switches. We are going to talk about two types of virtual switch that exists in vSphere environments such as standard switch and distributed switch. So what is a virtual network? A virtual network is something that provides networking for ESXi hosts and virtual machines that use virtual or distributed switches. If you look at this picture here, you have an ESXi host with three virtual machines. And each virtual machine has a virtual NIC. And all this virtual NIC is connected to a physical NIC of the ESXi host using something called as virtual switch. And then this physical NIC of the ESXi host is connected to the physical Ethernet switch. And if provided, it can connect to the external world such as internet. So the point is that these virtual machines use something called as virtual switch to communicate with the network on the physical switch. So if this virtual machine would like to communicate with the virtual machine which is connected to the physical switch or if the machine is out on the internet the communication would occur starting from the virtual NIC of the virtual machine and then passed through the virtual switch and then through the physical NIC of the ESXi host and then through the physical network using the switches and routers. If the virtual machine would like to communicate with another virtual machine on the same switch, then the communication would occur starting from the virtual NIC of the virtual machine A to the virtual switch and to the virtual NIC of the virtual machine B. So in this case, the traffic will not reach the physical switch. Instead, the traffic stays on the virtual network. So a virtual switch is a software design switch that provides networking connectivity for virtual machines that run on the ESXi host. And a virtual switch provides different types of traffic such as management network, virtual machine port groups, and VM kernel port group. I will talk about these port groups in the later lessons. Basically, a virtual switch can do almost everything that a physical switch can do. So that's why a virtual switch works at layer 2 of the OSI model. Let us talk more about virtual switch. You cannot have two virtual switch using the same physical network adapter, which is called VMNIC in vSphere terminology. But you can have two or four physical NICs mapped to the same virtual switch. So what do I mean by that? So let me open up vSphere client and I'll log into an ESXi host. You can see I'm connected to an ESXi host. If I come into configuration and then networking, I see a default switch created at the time of ESXi installation. So I have a virtual switch and I have two physical network adapters connected to this virtual switch. If I create another virtual switch, so it says create a vSphere standard switch, I cannot select the physical network adapters which is already being used by another virtual switch. But if I create a new virtual switch, I can add one or more physical network adapters. Or if I want to add another network adapter for this existing switch, I can do that. So I'll come here, I'll click network adapters and then I'll select the one which is unclaimed by any virtual switch. So a virtual switch provides 
provides nick theming so I can do active standby so I have two network adapters one of them is active another one is standby I can do both as active which will provide aggregate bandwidth of both the network adapters I can do one as active one as standby or I can do active unused and I have different types of load balancing policies which I can set so these are the so this is the basic overview of a virtual switch so coming back to the virtual switch we have different types of virtual switch connections so the first one is virtual machine port group another one is VM kernel port group a virtual machine port group is used by virtual machines to connect to the physical network and a VM kernel port group is used by VM kernel services to connect to the physical network so VM kernel services includes you know if you want to access the IP storage such as NFS or iSCSI and if you want to do vMotion from one host to another host you can create another VM kernel port group and if you want to access the management network you can create the management network port group let me modify this virtual switch and I, I'll show you what are the different types of port groups we can create especially VM kernel port group so I'll click on properties right now I already have a virtual machine port group named as VM network and I have a VM kernel port group called management network so what I'm gonna do I'm going to create another VM kernel port group and I'll name this as vMotion so to create a VM kernel port group you have to select VM kernel and then and then click on next and you'll name this as vMotion if you have a VLAN ID for your vMotion network you can specify it here or else you can leave it as none which is zero and you'll check this option that says use this port group for vMotion and click next and you need to give an IP for your vMotion VM kernel port group so I'm going to give this as 192.168.10.31 and then the subnet mask 255.255.255.0 and then you can specify the gateway of your network and if you click next and then click on finish so it has created another VM kernel port group for vMotion likewise I can create another VM kernel port group for iSCSI network so I, I don't need to specify any option here so I'm gonna click next and for iSCSI I'll say 192.168.10.32 you know you, it is important that you need to give an IP address for your iSCSI VM kernel port group because because you need an IP for the iSCSI initiator which will be running as a service on this host so I'm gonna click next and finish and you can see here I have an iSCSI VM kernel port group I can also create one more port group for fault tolerance so I'll say FT I can check this option which will use this port group for fault tolerance logging so I'll click next again I need to type an IP for VM kernel port group so I'm gonna say 10.33 and I'll say 255.255.0 for the subnet mask I'll click next and hit finish and you can see I have created fault toler tolerance port group I can create different types of virtual machine port groups as well for now I just have VM network port group which is the default port group that gets created when you install ESXi on a host so you can create something like development and you can specify the VLAN ID for development in, in my network I don't have a VLAN ID so I'll click next and I'll hit finish you can also create another virtual machine port group such as production again you can specify a VLAN ID for your production network which I don't have so I'll click next and finish so you can see here you can 
so you can create multiple port groups based on their usage so you can create either VM kernel port group or virtual machine port group one thing that you have to see here is you know if you're creating a VM kernel port group you need to specify an IP address for a VM kernel port group for but for a virtual machine port group you don't have to specify an IP address so you can create all these port groups on a single switch or you can create these port groups on a multiple switch so let me show you what I mean so I'm going to remove this VM network virtual machine port group and then I'm going to remove development virtual machine port group and production virtual machine port group so I'm going to keep all this VM kernel port group on one switch and I'm going to create another switch using new NIC adapters so I'm going to click next and then I'll say this as development and I don't have a VLAN ID to, specif to specify my development port group so I'm going to click next and finish on the same virtual switch so you can see here that a new virtual switch has been created with development virtual machine port group so on the same virtual switch I can create another virtual machine port group I can name this as test and dev and if I have a VLAN ID I can specify that and I'll click next and hit finish so you can see I have two virtual machine port groups for this virtual switch. I can also create another virtual switch for my production VM network port groups. So, so this time I'm going to use two new NIC adapters and I'll click next and I'll name this port group as production and I don't have a VLAN ID so I'll click next and hit finish so this way I can design my virtual network what if you have only two network adapters in that case you know you can put everything into the into one switch I mean put your VM kernel port groups your virtual machine port groups into one switch and then you can use VLAN IDs to to segregate your network types or if you have more than two network adapters you can create a new virtual switch and you can design your virtual network environment based on your requirement so this right here is your virtual switch you can create another switch called as distributed switch so what is the difference between these two uh, a virtual switch is created at the host level but a distributed switch is created at the data center level so I can simply create one switch at the data center level and that will be used by all the ESXi hosts in the data center but with virtual standard switch I have to create them on each and every host in the cluster so like I said a virtual switch is done at the host level and a distributed switch is done at the data center level alright so we we looked at what a virtual switch is and what a virtual network is we also discussed about port groups different types of port groups such as virtual machine port groups and VM kernel port groups uh, we also talked about some of the design aspects of creating a virtual switch and we also talked about uh, a brief overview of what a standard switch and what a distributed switch is in the next part I'm going to cover uh, you know the different components of a standard virtual switch and also other configurations of a virtual switch thanks for watching this video for more videos please subscribe to my channel